Hello friends. My name is Lindsay and I'm the youth librarian at the Grand Glaze Branch of the St. Louis County Library and I'm so excited to be doing a virtual story time with you today. But before we get to our book we need to get a bit warmed up so can everyone get some pointer thumbs ready with me? Good job. We're gonna point ourselves. We're gonna say I am here and you are here and we're all here together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. All right, so listen for how we're gonna move our bodies in this song. So get those pointer thumbs ready. Here we go. I am here and you are here and we're all here together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. I am here and you are here and we're all here together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna stomp our feet. I am here and you are here and we're all here together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna stomp our feet. We're gonna wiggle our bottoms. <laughs> I'm here and you are here and we're all here together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna stomp our feet. We're gonna wiggle our bottoms. We're gonna jump up high. I am here and you are here and we're all here together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna stomp our feet. We're gonna wiggle our bottoms. We're gonna jump up high. We're gonna beep our bellies. I am here and you are here and we're all here together. I am here and you are here and we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna stomp our feet. We're gonna wiggle our bottoms. We're gonna jump up high. We're gonna beep our bellies. We're gonna have a seat. Good job, my friends. And adults, this is a great song. You can continue at home coming up with different things to do. It's great for your little one to practice memory and also some listening skills. So we're all ready for our book for today. Our book is called Hungry Bunny by Claudia Ruida. And thank you to Chronicle Books for permission to read this one. So friends, I need your help. Our hungry bunny in this story really wants an apple. Do you like apples? Yeah, me too, yum. But you can see our bunny has a little problem and he needs our help to get to the apple. Here I come. Can you hear my tummy rumble? I'm one hungry bunny. It's time for red, delicious, and ooh, hard to reach apple. Maybe you could help. Could you please shake the book so that the apples fall down. Can we help Bunny shake the book? Ready? Shake, 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 shake. Uh-oh. Not the leaves. Could you blow them away? That's much better. Thank you. Oh no, 
Oh, my scarf is blown away too. It's stuck in the book and I'm still hungry. Could you help me grab my scarf? Can you help buddy, can you reach up nice and tall? Come grab that scarf. Will you please place the scarf here for me and hold it tight? I can use it to climb the tree and pick those tasty apples. Just one more block. Plop. Great teamwork, I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? Whoops, I'm running late. What an uphill battle. Wait a minute, why am I going uphill? We can fix that. Can you tilt the book for me? Can you tilt this way? Oh. Wowee! Easy as pie. Now my wheels are turning. Here he goes down the hill. Why don't we have even more fun? Would you rock the book back and forth? Can you help him rock? We keep going and get ready to turn. Uh oh, get ready to tumble. Oops, I guess I upset the apple cart. Where are all the apples? Here they are. I'll just pick these up. On the road again, but what's this? Hey, I think I'm going to need some help. Could you use my scarf to make a bridge? Can you hold that scarf for Bunny? Oh, there he is. He's even juggling the apples. Perfect. Thank you. I'm at the end of my rope. Good thing I'm almost home. Uh, um, I'm stuck. Would you give me a little push, please? Pop! Right on time for Mom's apple pie. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Yum! We saved a piece for you. Good job, my friends. Thank you for helping Bunny in that story. All right, so I brought a special friend with me today. I brought my friend, Birdie. Can you say hello to Birdie? Hello, Birdie. But my bird likes to hide, and I wonder if you can help me find him. So we're going to play some hide and seek. To play hide and seek, everybody will need to cover their eyes nice and tight. No peeking. And Birdie's going to hide in one of our trees, and we'll see if we can find him. So everybody shut their eyes nice and tight. And help me count to ten. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, open up. 
Let's see if we can find Birdie. Which tree should we try first? Not this tree. What color is this tree? Pink. Yeah, let's try our pink tree. Little bird, little bird, where do you hide? Are you behind the pink tree? Let's peek inside. Can you help me count to three and we'll see if Birdie's there? One, two, three. Oh, no Birdie there. Hmm, which tree should we try next? What about this tree? What color is that tree? Yeah, yellow. Let's try our yellow tree. Little bird, little bird, where do you hide? Are you behind the yellow tree? Let's peek inside. One, two, three. Oh, no birdie there either. Which tree should we try next? What about this one? What color is that tree? Yeah, purple. Let's try our purple tree. Little bird, little bird, where do you hide? Are you behind the purple tree? Let's peek inside. One, two, three. Oh, still no bird. Where could he be? What about this tree? What color is that tree? Yeah, orange. Let's try our orange tree. Little bird, little bird, where do you hide? Are you behind the orange tree? Let's peek inside. One, two, three. He wasn't in the orange tree. Hmm, which tree should we try next? Which ones do we have left? What color is this one? Yeah, red or green. Hmm. Let's try our green tree. Little bird, little bird, where do you hide? Are you behind the green tree? Let's peek inside. One, two, three. Oh, is there a birdie there? There's Birdie! Good job, friends! Good job! <laughs> Can you say goodbye to Birdie? Goodbye, Birdie! All right, my friends, next we are going to do a scarf song. So I have a scarf with me. If you don't have a scarf at home, anything rectangular in shape that we can wave around will work. So a burp cloth, a dish towel, even a tissue will work. So if you want to go ahead and grab something to use as a scarf and join me back here for a fun scarf song. All right, I'm back with our scarf song. So do you know as it starts to get a little bit colder, what happens to the leaves on the trees outside? Yeah, they change colors. They turn red or green or even kind of purple or brown. And then sometime after that, they fall off. <laughs> so we're gonna pretend today like our scarf is a big leaf blowing in the wind on a tree. So can you wave your scarf overhead with me? Good job. All the leaves are in the trees, in the trees, in the trees. All the leaves are in the trees, all through the town. Here comes a big wind, can you twirl your leaf? All the leaves are twirling around, twirling around, twirling around. All the leaves are twirling around, all through the town. And now oh, they're gonna fall off our tree, can you catch them? All the leaves are falling down, Falling down, falling down, all the leaves are falling down, all through the town. Goodbye, my friends. It's all we have time for for today. 